In this video, I'm going to show you charging efficiency for three-phase charging. So we are now in a garage where there is a 400 volt plug, red plug. Uh, this one is a 16 amp, so it can deliver 11 kilowatt via the UMC here. See, and uh, to get accurate results, I found well, I found another way to measure it where you don't need a meter or anything because it was actually <laughs> very simple. So what you have to do is to let it charge for a while, like this. I let it charge for over an hour. Uh, 50. Say I've been charging at. 50 kilometers per hour for one hour and uh, I don't know 20 minutes or something and what you can do if you see there uh -huh, okay I'm, I'm gonna use my phone to show you all right so 230 volt 16 amp and this is three phase so uh, let me Give you the numbers here. Well, maybe I can just do it like this so you can see what you see both of them. Actually, let me try to do some ninja stuff where I, I increase this one and I have this one. All right, all right, let's do some calculations 230, well, 230 times 3 times 16. You see, that gives me 11 kilowatts. And this one, well, you see. Uh, in the screen here, you get only uh, integers, you know, whole numbers. They don't show you fractions. If you want to be more accurate, you know, you should use um, visible Tesla or something because via the API, you get uh, at least you get uh, one tenth of a kilometer per hour. So you get more accurate numbers, but this is good enough for now. So I'm going to show you. I know from earlier uh, measurements that one kilometer in my car is 189 watt hour per kilometer. It's not the same in other cars. Some cars might use 185 watt hour per kilometer or lower or maybe even higher as a base for calculating the range. Anyway, if you take 189 times 50, you get, you see, about 9.5 uh, kilowatt. And then you divide that by 11,000. And we get an efficiency of 86 percent so this is a bit surprising that the efficiency for three-phase charging is lower than uh, for one-phase charging I was getting 89 percent efficiency for 32 amp charging so um, again I'm not an expert on uh, electricity I'm just a noob so maybe you guys have an explanation for that